Hey everyone, welcome back to Face World. Today we're diving into Filmora 14, Wondershare's latest release, and exploring what sets us apart from the previous versions, especially Filmora 13. I'm here to walk you through some standout features, answer those tricky upgrade questions, and then give you an honest opinion about whether Filmora 14 is worth your investment. So let's get into it. First up, let's talk about smart short clips, one of the most exciting AI-driven features. So imagine this, you upload your original video and Filmora's AI automatically transforms it into polished, engaging, shorter clips. This is perfect for social media or quick share moments. And by the way, this is just one of many AI-powered tools in Filmora 14 designed to save you time and effort. So. Why are Filmora 13 users being asked to pay for an upgrade for 14? So that's a really good question. And here's the deal. The perpetual plan for Filmora 13 covers lifetime access to that version and any updates within it, but it doesn't include brand new versions like Filmora 14. Filmora 14 takes things to the next level with advanced AI features, including smart scene cut, AI transitions with lip sync, AI portrait cutout, AI Face Mosaic, these additions brings capabilities we haven't really seen before in Filmora. With over 10 new AI tools designed for enhanced video quality, including AI Video Enhancer, Color Palettes, Denoising, which you can see in a previous video right here that I demoed, and even multi-camera editing. So developing and maintaining these technologies comes at a high cost due to R&D, GPU resources, and continuous support, which is why upgrades have a fee. Now, you may be wondering, is Filmora really worth purchasing? So here's my take. Filmora is incredibly user-friendly, yet it's very powerful and flexible. It sits between the simplicity of CapCut and the high-level features of DaVinci Resolve, making it very ideal for anyone looking to pro-level editing without the steep learning curve. That includes YouTubers who are getting started as well as growing on YouTube. So within this purchase, you also get an option for Filmora's Creative Assets Pack, which gives you access to over a million assets free for the first 14 days. So if you find it that's not for you, remember you have a trial free for 14 days. I tested myself and was genuinely impressed by the AI features. It felt like discovering a whole new editing world. And if you find yourself creating frequently like I do, well, it's worth considering. Another question I hear very often is, what does the perpetual plan mean? Great question. When you buy Filmora, the perpetual plan grants lifetime access to the version you purchased like Filmora 13, along with all the updates within that version, like 13.1, 13.2, etc. But a major version like Filmora version 14 is considered a separate upgrade due to the advancements in features and tech. So initially, this might seem confusing. I totally get it. But it means that you can enjoy the features of your version without needing to upgrade. And let's address the AI feature fees. Since developing AI involves significant R&D, computing powers, and continuous updates, these are the added costs. This is typical for companies that offer AI tools such as Adobe or Google or ChatGPT, for all of which that I pay for a monthly subscription. It allows them to maintain and enhance these tools without sacrificing quality. Now, as a creative or creator entrepreneur who is lucky enough to have a community of other creators and small business owners I can talk to and consult with on a regular basis, our take on software we use is that if we like it, we find it helpful, then it's worth the investment and therefore we'll pay for it. When the service or product is free, we, the users, actually become the product as opposed to the clients or the users receiving the service. Running a business isn't free, and using the software I love and trust has always been the center of our business. So to wrap it up, if you're looking to step up your editing game and want to save time and try out these new features, give Fumora 14 a look. It's intuitive, it's AI-powered, and cater to anyone and everyone from beginners to pros. So I hope you will check out the links below for more information and feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. I feel like now as a user for Filmora version 14, I am new to it, experimenting with so many AI features, and so far they've saved me a ton of time. If you like this video, I hope you will check out this one right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you next time. Thank you.
Thank you.